Hey everyone, uh, Desert Rat 2000 here. Uh, okay, here's our list that I've been using here. On the last video, we got the shifter riser done. So we will go ahead and cross that off the list. And I did a little preview on the uh, door strap and window cranks and door uh, crank, uh, door uh, lever. So um, I'll show you that. So that's what we're going to do today is the door straps and the cranks hardware on the door. So let me show you uh, the one I already did and then I'll take you through how I did it and we'll do it on the other one. Okay. Okay, so here's the door that I already did. Uh, there's the strap in place and I'm still going to take off the levers and add just a little teeny bit of Loctite on the screws and those will lock those down into and if you put too much on ever want to get them off I find you just heat these up with a little torch then the Loctite comes off I, um, that's a nice little trick so in here on this one I'm trying to get these as far forward as I can but on the uh, door latch mechanism this runs through here and this rod gets real close to uh, where that the bolt and uh, nut come through there so I'll take you around here and show you what I did to uh, figure that out and then I'll do that as I go so this door now is completely uh, been all gutted out here and uh, I will be installing this back in in a little bit but what I'm gonna do first is because on the the bottom side of this one is where the uh, door handle screw comes in at let me see if I can get that so that's the witness mark right there on that black on the tape right there so what I'm going to have to do is grind that a little flat and then drill a hole and then the screw will find that little indent, detent, and uh, lock it in place. This one I do on the car. It uh, happens to be facing up. You can see that one. So that's what I'm going to get to right away. Get those uh, ground flat and drill a hole in these. And then I'm going to install this back in and put the panel on with... Uh, the buckle in the position that it needs to go and see if we have to make a little relief uh, little relief cut on the top of this for where the nut goes through if it's just exactly like the other one it's probably going to need a little relief so okay bring you back in just a little bit okay so what i did first is uh, i ground that area flat there right across the top here and then i put the tape back on and then I'll bring my handle and set it back in place and tighten the screw down to get a fresh uh, witness mark on the tape. Once I do that, uh, I will drill a little hole for the screw to, to go into. So I'm going to do that and I'll bring you guys right back when I get that done. Okay, so I got the uh, handle pushed on where I want it uh, in the right angle so it's pretty much straight down and angling back just a little bit so I'm going to uh, and I push this in as as tight as I possibly can here to get it where I want it so I'm going to take and uh, run this screw in there and I'll get my mark in the tape okay that should leave me the mark take that out and pull this out and there we go. I can see that there's a mark right there. So I'm going to drill a little hole right there. Okay. Uh, just in case that was off camera, there's a little mark right there I'm going to drill. Okay. Okay, guys. So I got that all drilled out. So I'm going to take the screw here. I'm just going to add a little bit of thread locker on there like so. And I've got this set in set in place right where I want it here. So I'm going to run this guy down in here. Oh, and I took my uh, cutoff wheel and I 
made a little bit more of a notch uh, in this screw here so I could actually get a screwdriver on it and get it tight. So, yeah, that helped out a lot. So let me run run this guy in real quick here. And it, it's going to catch that little hole that I drilled. Yeah, these things are usually super flimsy. So, say it's catching that hole now. Oh, yeah, I can feel it bite down in there good. Give it a nice little crank. And now, yeah, now we're super solid. Okay, well, I'm going to do that to the uh, window crank, and then when I get done, I'll bring you guys back. Okay. Okay, so here's the door panel with uh, the holes already put in it and a piece of stiffener in the back. I put a little piece of a uh, little dab of grease on uh, that bolt and nut and I'm gonna see if it's gonna make any uh, obstruction as it goes in right there like it did on the other side so I'll line this guy up and put it right here and that's where it wants to line up right there we'll see if it interferes at all when I run this back and forth it appears that this one clears fine so we got my got lucky on it so we'll pull it back off yeah right there got a little dab of grease so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off and I'm just gonna make a little reveal right there that's exactly where it was on the other side so I will do that and then I'll come back in just a little bit here Guys, okay, so I'm just uh, running the last of the screws in the door here. Uh, I've got this handle. Oh, by the way, uh, <laughs> you guys probably saw that one coming. I Loctited that screw in here way too early. I did it on the other door too. Same mistake. Uh, you got to put that in last, obviously, because the door panel here. So, yeah, I got this one last little screw that I'm just running in here. And then all I have to do is... Uh, put the uh, window crank on and then this door is pretty much done I'll run that one in a little bit later this this crank here there's my little uh, hole so my screw I'll uh, lock tight these ones in a little later right now I just want to get this set up in the uh, position that I need it in and uh, that pretty much wraps it up. Here we go. That's why I like using the tripod. I can never keep the camera straight. So we're gonna run that screw into there. Up. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this off camera. Run that in where it belongs. But I have already tried it actually, test fitted it. And it works just fine in there. Yeah, right now it's not even finding the hole because I'm... Oh, maybe it is, actually. Let's see here. I'll run it down anyways. Oh, yeah, I think it did find it. Get it nice and tight, and it secures it up real good. Wow. Yeah, th that's the way to go with those. So, uh, there's the strap. And uh, close the door and give it a try. And uh, go ahead and open the door from that side. And then we'll reach, reach in one time and grab it from the inside. And that works good too. Okay, uh, well that's about it. I just uh, had one more thing here. Um, I'll be right back to finish her up. Yeah, this one's for uh, Dave at Scott Rods here. Uh, he took off a set of wires and uh, yeah, I was just gonna run up, run around and show. I've got, uh, I got an angle one on one and a straight one on uh, three, five, and seven, but I got the same distributor in there. Uh, it's the MSD, and then over on this side, it's the same thing. Uh, two is angled, and four is uh, straight. But I can run angles on all of these, uh, not a problem. So yeah, uh, if you're watching Dave, I think I'll take those wires. Really appreciate it, and I appreciate all you guys. Uh, watching the video. Yeah. Okay. Well, please comment and subscribe and thanks for watching and uh, oh, Let's do it a little bit different this time Let's take one off of the list before I come back next time. 
so we can take uh, door straps off of there and door cranks and window cranks. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Have a good, safe day.